In this video, I'm going to explain how to create a chat bot uh, with a 3D avatar in Microsoft Azure. It's uh, pretty straightforward. You can create a free account on Microsoft Azure, which gives you around um, $200 if I'm not mistaken. I'm using my university account, um, but you can create your own account. And then here you search for speech services. And then here you create one. Here you can create um, a new speech service. You can choose your subscription. For me, it's Azure Students. And then regarding the resource group, you can create one from here or just select the one that you have. And then regarding the region, uh, I use Western uh, Europe and I think also West US. Uh, includes the uh, avatar and also the Southeast Asia, if I'm not mistaken. So you should be careful about the region because it's not available in all of the regions. And then you set a name and for pricing tier, you should put it on standard. Okay. I'm not going to create one because I already have one. Okay. So I already have this in West Europe and uh, I can use it without any problems. So you click here on go to speech studio. And then from here, you click on live chat avatar. Here you can see a demo of it. What are the differences between the Surface Pro and Surface Go product lines? The Surface Pro is more powerful with a larger display, while the Surface Go is smaller. Okay, from this part, you can create your own. For example, I'm going to set it on English. The voice is going to be the same. Response style, casual. And then I'm going to change it to this one, to Vori. And then save changes. Okay. Where is Spain located? Oh, Spain. It's in southwestern Europe, right next to Portugal. Okay, and then you can also come here to chat panel and say, what is your job, for example? It has well, I'm here to help answer your questions, assist with tasks, and chat with you. Okay, so we have this here. We have here a sample code, and then here we have some uh, endpoint information. Okay, let's say I want to check their sample code and use their repo. Okay, let's go to the SDK and clone this and uh, check the code. I'm going to my projects folder. Then here, Azure Avatar. CD Azure Avatar. Here, git clone and then the repo. Okay, meanwhile that it is downloading the repo, let's go back to this page, okay? So here it says that this sample includes two files. One is a basic sample, you just put a text and then the avatar reads it for you. And then they have a chat sample with which you can interact with the avatar. I'm going to uh, use the chat sample. Okay, here is my cloned repository. I go to samples, JavaScript, then browser, avatar, and chat. I open this here 
as you can see, in order to make it work, we need to add some information here. First, I need to change this. As you can see, these are the available regions for the avatar. So I'm going to use West Europe because mine is in West Europe. As you can see here, it says it's in West Europe, West Europe. Um, okay. And here I need to copy um, my resource key and then I paste it here. Now we need to also create an Azure OpenAI um, endpoint. For that, we have to go back to Microsoft Azure portal and then from here we Azure AI, we search for Azure AI services. And here we go to Azure OpenAI and we create an Azure OpenAI service. I'm going to use AI avatar. For this, I am going to choose West Europe regarding the name avatar test. 4467 and then a standard as a pricing tier click on next 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 it'll take some time to create it okay once it is deployed then we can have our open ai um, endpoint and that's pretty much it okay here it is Go to resource, then open this and then explore Azure AI Foundry portal. We go here and then we need to deploy a model so our avatar can use it. You go to deployments, deploy a model, a base model. I'm going to use GPT 4.0 data zone badge global standard. Um, it says that pay per APL call with the highest rate limit. There are actually some differences between each of them. I don't know exactly what's the differences. I'm going to use global standard and then the model version. I'm going to keep this one resource location it says no quota no quota hmm insufficient quota for selected options okay what if i choose this one hmm what if i go to this one as you can see there are no quotas for this hmm okay let's deploy another model i would go for gpt 3.5 turbo standard okay here I can create one uh, let's check to customize East US okay seems okay okay good I have this and um, I need to copy the target URL and then I go to my demo I paste it here however I need to remove this part uh, we need it up to here okay and then the API key I'm going to copy it from here paste it here the deployment name GPT 3.5 turbo. Okay. And then the system prompt, you're an AI assistant that helps people find information. It should be okay. Click on open avatar session and let's see what happens. Okay.
Where is Spain located? Spain is located in southwestern Europe on the Iberian Peninsula, bordered by Portugal to the west and France to the north. It also shares maritime borders with Morocco and Algeria across the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, so as you can see, it provided an answer. Let's ask another question. Where is Madrid located? Okay, I think I ran into a problem that occurred before. Mm, and I think it's regarding the problem with the OpenAI's uh, quota. So when I sent two requests, one after the other one, I ran into 429 error which doesn't let me send uh, another request. So it says your quota has exceeded. Okay, so if you wait around 30 seconds, then you can do this. I still haven't figured out a way to, you know, solve this problem, uh, but <laughs> I hope I find one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You can also type a message here. What is uncanny valley the uncanny valley is a term used in the field of robotics and computer science to describe the phenomenon where a humanoid object bearing a near human resemblance arouses a sense of unease or revulsion in the observer this occurs when the object's appearance and behavior are very close to being human-like but not quite perfect leading to a okay so that's about it you can play around with the options different avatars that they have uh, languages and uh, the voices they have you can find more information here in the chat sample here on on this page and um, yeah you can see the language list voice list and then change it based on your needs hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and see you in the next one